On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install bifold doors on this closet. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So, this is my kids' closet, and so far we've been using this curtain just to cover things up. There used to be a sliding door on this, but we took it out with, and as you can see, the only remaining thing are these rails. We're going to be taking those out. So, the first thing we're going to do, take out the curtains, and we're going to unscrew the rails that the other sliding door used to be on so with that being said we're going to replace this with brand new railings and if you notice that the the height of this is pretty far up there so we're going to build that by measuring the width first and we're going to measure also the height so the height of this is about the same it's a little bit higher than the newer door than that we have so which is perfect but these are the brand new bifold doors that we have. So these ones I got from Lowe's. So these are 36 inches wide, unfolded, and 80 and a half inch height. So let's go and unpack this. And it does come with instructions. It comes with all the railings and it comes with all the hardware, all included in this kit. So I ended up buying two of these. So let's unfold it. As you can see, there's already pre-drilled holes on them for the hardware to be installed. If you don't have these holes, then you can just use a drill bit, a size smaller. This is the top and this is going to be the left side of the opening. So we're going to install it on the left side. These are the hardware that's included. They are spring activated, so you can allow it to insert through the slots. But what you're going to do is you're just going to put it through the pre-drilled holes and just tap it in with a hammer or a mallet. And this one's the roller side is going to be on the right side. And you're going to do exactly the same thing. And you're just going to tap it gently so that it can go through those holes. Now going to the left side of the door, this is going to be the one that's going to stay stagnant when you open the door. But this comes with another piece of hardware that goes on the bottom and these are the locking screws. Now these are adjustable. You can uh, twist this around to adjust accordingly to the height of the door just to make up for the difference. So that's very easy. Just tap it in place. But as you can notice that these doors can't open because I have this lip at the top. The thing that we're going to do is we're going to build up to the height of the opening. So I'm going to be using some 2x4s and little pieces of half inch plywood here and there. So, so if you have this issue, this is the perfect fix for that. Just account for the height and the differences. So this is going to be located on the left side and I'm going to be doing some on the right side as well. And the same thing on the middle. So as you can see, there are three spots total that we are going to be raising and I'm going to be putting also the final touches with the 2x4 stud. So I'm about 175 pounds and it definitely can withstand my weight as you can see. So there you have it. It is nice and flush now. Now this is pretty much how it should be on most openings but in my case i didn't have that luxury so i had to build it out now we're going to go measure three quarter inch off the edge now depending on which door you're going to install some measurements are different but that's where we're going to line up our track rails now we're going to mount the track rail with the provided hardware it's very easy to do Now you're going to need to loosen this piece of hardware. This is what slides back and forth in order for you to install one of the little clips that goes up and down from the left side of the door. But the, we have an issue that we came across with. The door is too long for this. So there you go. I reduced half. So it's now it's only half inch extra. Like so. Only half inch. Now we're going to put this back on. Here I'm measuring the same distance that I had from that hole. The same distance on the bottom and that I'm going to be securing it with general purpose screws. Again, all the tools and materials that I use in this video, I'll leave the link on the description down below. Now you're just going to line up that little pin, that little pin from the top and you're going to match it and make sure it inserts through the hole through that sliding little mechanism at the top rail. And you're just going to adjust it just perfectly so that you're going to have a quarter inch from the wall gap so there you go so take your tape measure and measure about quarter inch so you have enough 
room for it when it opens now when you get the right measurement just go to the inside of it and just set it and tighten that bolt so that this doesn't move so there you have it we have one door in place now the other door now we're gonna come we came into some issues the railing is too long for this so we have to go into this situation where we're gonna have to cut the door just slightly now what i'm gonna be using is this craig accucut um, for your circular saw with the track this is a perfectly nice tool must tool to have so in case you don't know how to use this or how to set it up i made a separate video on it so check out the link on the top right this is a must and a very good tool to have for cutting straight lines without having using a table saw and just using your circular saw so this also i'll leave a link on the description down below So now that we got that door relieved, now we're gonna go and cut the track. So we marked out with the excess. I'm just using my Dremel tool. Again, this tool I'll leave in the link in the description down below as well. Very easy to do. We're just cutting. Make sure you're very careful and just use PPE just to be safe. Now that we have that all nice and cut, I'm just pre-drilling the holes where the track is going to be, and we're gonna go and install the new track cut. Now I'm using my level so that the door is nice and level from the edges and then I'm going to mark the same distance from the top to the bottom. Now I'm going to secure the final hardware with general purpose screws, line it up on the track again, make sure everything is nice and aligned. So again, there are some areas in this opening that are not perfect. This house is fairly old and some of the areas that were built were customized and they were not plumb or straight. So some areas we're just going to have to go and make do and just customize the way we have to do it. I had to cut some few areas. But overall, some of the areas I had to customize cut this right side door. I had to cut a little bit on the bottom for it to not you know scrape on the flooring but overall let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the install this is what it looks like now compared to the curtains that we were using before so also don't forget to install the opening handles so this one i'm just measuring to the middle of, to the last of the bifold door and i'm just using one of my uh, jigs that i'm using so i can have that nice straight drill through so if you're interested on that tool as well i'll leave a link on the description and just insert the hardware and screw on the handle so overall friends that's how it is um there is going to be some areas that you might have to go and customize or cut a little bit more the left side was a lot easier than mounting on the right side the right side gave me a little bit of issues because of the way that the opening is it's not perfectly even all the way around but overall friends this is what it looks like i do apologize for the writings on the wall this is my kids room so yeah if you found this video super helpful friends please hit that big thumbs up subscribe notification bell and i'll see you friends on the next video